and Fox is much, much easier. But more semi to go over. So more aggressive shot needed. Two poor shots there, Mark, I have to say. It's a nervy start by Fox, as you'd expect. It's tracking. Oh, just needed hitting. Like you want, you don't want to really miss it short right. Looks pretty relaxed, Fox, to me. That's OK. Yeah, he'll be happy to see the, uh, that first birdie on the scorecard. You, you, sh you want to be two or three under through seven. That's it. Just a fraction up the hill at the death, really. It will slow down. out of his right, so I might just try and cut across this a little bit, try and get it popping against it. Well, he's left himself quite a lot to do again. Been one eagle on this hole, and that was Brandon Stone. He holed from the, the same bunker that Fox was in. Oh, really hard. Fox for his first birdie today. And, you know, every time he's made a bogey this week, every single yeah. time, he's followed it with a birdie. That was the most important one of all the whole week. Almost ignore the scoreboard for a while and just try and find his game. He's got the face wide open. He's going the aerial route. He's not a natural flighter of the ball. This needs to get going. Yes, yeah, just needed a, another yard. You're right there, Anthony. But it's, it's a chance, a chance to save his part. Much needed. Big putt for Ryan Fox. This for par at the sixth. Oh. Two drop shots in the last three holes, albeit with a birdie sandwiched in there. He's back to 18 under. The lead's back to just three. Ryan Fox just needs a fairway finder. It's going to run 80, as you say, Mark. Doesn't need to go at this. Nailed it. Yeah, looks a good one. Good drive there from Fox. Now, see how much run it gets. Oh, yeah, beauty. On you go. Two oh seven. Magnificent off the tee, Ryan Fox. Seven iron down breeze, Max here. Might even muscle on eight in there. Might get a bit of spin if he can pitch it on top. Good lie. He'll think about chipping that in. Now, this is as easy as it gets. Here's a Sunday mind for Ryan Fox, just popping it on. Oh, fancied it, didn't he? Yeah. As soon as he saw the lie, everything was appealing. Just spoke to Incy. She's been a talisman for everybody. Everybody seems to birdie after speaking to Incy, and he does the same. And that is a really tidy and useful little up and down for birdie. Okay. Oh, it's drifting. If he can punch this anywhere on the green, it's a good shot. Oh, that's a magnificent golf shot. That really is. Now, that will settle him down. That's his best shot of the day. For Ryan Fox. A little bit of grain into this so he can be aggressive with it. Give it a go. But he needs to pitch this 15 feet short. And it's all released because of the lie. Well, they say luck favours the brave, don't they? And that was a, a very bold second shot. And he's given himself a par save. Will he be influenced by it? That's the question. Better line, better line. That is a golden par. It's absolutely brilliant. Right pin. It's a hard hole today on this breeze. It's strong now, really strong. You need to lose this right. He'll be more than happy with that. That's in OK shape there. Yeah, this is of a nondescript looking line. I think two putts is just fine here. I couldn't really pick anything out of this. It's just slow up the hill. Yeah, well judged. Brave play, driver. 
for Fox Down Breeze. Looking slightly anxiously after this one. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Take that now. There's always an element of a bit of a flyer on this, so maybe just holding back a fraction. So this is quite difficult to, to judge. There's not much in this, right to left. It's all yeah. about his pace here and feel. Forty-four feet of perfection. How about that? Forty-four feet of absolute joy right now. Just doesn't need to go overboard. It just did a nice, smooth one like he did down the eighth, the par five. Maybe not. Yeah, he's on the upslope. Not got as much green, I think, as he would like. But it's a good 35 yards, so it's got, got a bit of purchase on this when he hits the deck. Great shot. You can hear from the sound. Absolutely perfect. In the meantime, back to 13 and Fox to turn the screw. Could afford to go dead straight here, which he does. Bunker shot deserved the birdie three. Needs to pitch this short of the pin, though. This will hop over. Just a chippy one. He's 21 under par. He's four ahead of Lara Tharbel, who's in the bunker at the 15th. He's just had a good run back-to-back -back birdies. He's not made it there, but uh, a safe par in the end. Uh, with four holes left to play, he's going to have, unless Lara Tharbel holds his bunker shot, he's going to have a four-shot lead. This is the toughest of the lot, the most threatening of the par threes. This one's come out very low and left. This needs to sit down. One thing I will say, it will release. 10 out of 10, whether it goes in or not. There's the mud on the ball that Anthony mentioned. Has not done that again. So taking his time cleaning the ball. Yeah, it was a good looking roll, mate, to be honest. Fabulous. Way to end the day. It's another big tee shot, perfect position. He can reach from there, and it has been a masterclass in composure from Ryan Fox. You can just brush this one on and start to enjoy a fine, fine performance. There you go. Fantastic. He'll be mighty relieved now that he did. It wasn't looking like that at the very beginning, especially when he missed that short part of the ball. I thought, oh no. Earlier in the week, it served him well, and now to finish with a flourish. That'll do. Closes out the tournament with a birdie at the last. Fox has gone wire to wire in Rasselheimer and has secured his second DP World Tour victory. And that will feel so sweet. Nice guys do win. He's, yes, he's. Um, He's well liked all around the, the tour for sure, but uh, I felt for him earlier on. I know after about four holes, it must have been feeling awful. Brian, congratulations. You've done it. You are the 2022 Raz Al Khaimah Classic champion. Just describe to us your emotions. It was quite a roller coaster out there. Yeah, uh, probably relief is the, is the main one. Um, obviously, it was a bit of a struggle today. Um, 
sleeping on a six shot lead. I did not sleep very well last night and obviously a couple of guys came at me early and um, yeah, I was a bit bit nervous. I had that awful feeling in the pit of my stomach all day, but um, yeah, I'm very happy with how I played. A couple of great shots coming down the stretch. Um, and yeah, it was it was certainly nice walking up the last with my putter in hand and knowing I had five or six putts or whatever it was for it. That uh, six shot lead turned into a two shot gap. And in your head, it's the first time you've held that third round lead in the DP World Tour event. What did you learn about yourself you know, in that final round today? Um, that I'm probably pretty resilient. I mean, obviously there was some bad stuff in there, but um, I just kept plugging away. A um, couple of big momentum putts on the back nine, the one on 10 for par, and then the one on 12 for birdie, just kind of kick-started everything, and felt like I played pretty solid the rest of the way in, to be honest, and um, yeah, it was going south pretty quickly there, and I'm yeah, pretty happy I, uh, I could turn it around and um, you know, show quite a bit of mental fortitude there few close calls that second shot on 10 was quite a gamble wasn't it and even that tee shot on 12 which you converted it into a birdie for you what was a real turning point uh probably the one on 12 to be honest um i haven't been a massive fan of that tee shot for the two weeks and i got away with one there obviously i wasn't aiming there i pushed it a little bit but at least i had it solid and um thought i had a decent second shot just didn't get any the breeze didn't really move it left and um, thankfully the hole got in the way with my putt, to be honest, I probably had three or four feet coming back, but um, looked good the whole way and this, that sort of changed everything, that gave me a bit more of a buffer and obviously, you know, 13 and 14 you feel like are a couple of birdie holes coming home and um, managed to birdie 13 and that kind of made it a little easier coming down the stretch, but still not, not that easy. Your 14 month old was crawling before you left home and now she's already walking, just going down that final stretch, I, you couldn't really stand still on that green. You're, yeah, I could almost see that there's a lot going through your mind. Was the family kind of in the forefront of your mind at that point? Yeah, I just, I've just got nervous energy. My old man's exactly the same. He paces around on the phone, and I, I think I probably walked 25 kilometres today. How many, how <laughs> much I've paced around the greens? That's just me. And um, yeah, I was definitely thinking about the family coming down the last couple of holes. That um, you know, it's pretty big for them. Um, you know, they've got to come over to Europe every year. Um, and it's obviously a little bit harder with a little one now and um, you know, this one makes that a little bit easier for them to do that and um, I'm a bit disappointed I missed her walking and um, I've got 10 days in a hotel when I get home to, to think about that as well and um, yeah, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to seeing them when I get out late February. How much better is it going to feel though, 10 days in quarantine but with that trophy in the corner of the room? Yeah, <laughs> I, the first couple of days I might have a pretty sore head but after that I think it'll feel pretty good. Well Ryan, all the players speak so highly of you. We always appreciate your honest insight. So thank you so much and congratulations on your second DP Tour win. Thanks, Nancy. Appreciate thank it. Thank you, Ryan. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.